the Bill of Rights, we the people of the United States, Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Hi, I'm Rob Charney, welcome to Rob's Rant. I've got some things today that I want to talk about that was uh, recently signed by our wonderful Governor uh, Gerald Brown in the state of California uh, that affects your rights, uh, your ability to possess and keep arms in a manner that is, is only right. And once again, uh, back in California, we have a governor who has never seen an anti-gun bit of legislation that he hasn't loved. He'll sign them all. And unfortunately, because of the way of the makeup of our uh, state, it's going to be very difficult to get any pro-guns passed, particularly under this particular governor. And I can't believe, long story short, that we have Gerald Brown again, but we do, and we have to live with it. But you, that's right, you as a gun owner, you as a person that believes in the Second Amendment, we have to get together and we have to stop this legislation. This is just getting ridiculous. So Assembly Bill 809 will require the registration of newly purchased long guns. The gun registry is to include rifles and shotguns. All right, have we not heard Governor Brown talk about how he's going to cut spending, how he's going to slash cell phones and cars, and he's going to do whatever it takes to cut the budget so that we're not in a deficit. deficit. So what do we have here? We have a piece of legislation that the author had the audacity to say is only going to cost the state of California $400,000. Have you seen anything in California that only costs $400,000? You can't paint an outhouse in California for less than $400,000. No, trust me, folks, this is a piece of legislation that's going to cost millions and millions of dollars. And there's going to be more taxes added on to pay for this, and it's going to be a friggin' nightmare. Nightmare! And he signed it! Look it up. Look the whole legislation. Assembly Bill 809. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm just getting tired of it. Then he went ahead and signed Bill 819, which all it does is pilfer the dealer record of sales funding that is there to pay for the dealer record of sale. He's going to rob that money. He's going to use it for whatever it is that they want to put in the general uh, funds and use it for whatever. I don't care what they say here. It's just another way of taking money from one group in California and put it into another. Ridiculous. Where is this cost cutting, Brown? I don't see it. I see you just costing us more money. It's the opposite. You're doing the opposite. So we all know that the open carry in California, and as we've seen in other states, has caused a bit of a flurry. Some of you have decided to use your right to display a firearm on your body unloaded in open sight. Open carry. It hasn't been a problem. No big deal. Nah, not, not in California anymore. It bans the open carrying of unloaded handgun. In reality, the open carry of firearms by law-abiding citizens is caused by California's unfair concealed weapons carry law. That's right. That's exactly right. Now, I'm fortunate enough to live in a county where I have a sheriff that understands it. He understands it. And he follows the letter of the law. There's requirements to get it. There's background checks. Goes to the Department of Justice. You have to take a course. You've got to prove your proficiency with a firearm. You've got to do all of it. Not a bunch of gun-crazy wackos out there. It's those of us who want to keep our Second Amendment rights and and... That's what I'm choosing to do. That's what you should be choosing to do. We've got to defend this. You know, we had a, he had a bill that he vetoed. He's going to tout this as, oh, I'm being pro-gun. The bill was seven, uh, 427. That bill was simply the bill for ammunition sales, where it made ammunition sales impossible. You could not buy over the Internet. You could only buy uh, directly across the counter in a store. You had to sign a registry. You had to leave a thumbprint. Uh, so he, he didn't sign this one. And, and the reason why is because there's a lawsuit against it. It's unconstitutional. Absolutely not right. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting fed up. And this is Rob's rant.